Just wait a few seconds, have some patience, you'll be alright. Yep, you'll be okay. <laughs> I'm an older student returning to college. Uh, I originally returned to college at 40 years old at OCC. I graduated there and was accepted at Lemoyne, of where I've been here now for two years. Uh, I've got a couple semesters left to, towards graduation of English degree and Bachelor's of Arts with creative writing as a major. The advisors, the professors, um, the staff here is, is wonderful. They're very helpful. I always want to engage them in a conversation before or after class or that because um, I like to get to know them. I, you know, I like to be able to, in a crude way, I'll say, uh, take a faucet tap, put it right on their head, and drink. Mm -hmm. I like to be and just turn that puppy on and drink, right. Ah, fill right up, you know. And then the more the better, um, because all of those experiences that they have, again, influences the way I think, the way I perceive, um, the way I talk, my actions, behavior, everything. I'm so out of step. It's almost like I'm Rip Van Winkle. And now I went to college at 40 years old and I woke up. There's a world out there. Mm -hmm. There's more than just the, there's shades of gray. A lot of them. Yeah. And they're pretty. <laughs> they're really cool. I want to explore each one, but there isn't the time. It's only four years. My mom, uh, originally when I was a child, read me uh, stories, um, oh gee, yeah, Jules Verne's. Uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, uh, The Time Machine, basic classic words of literature, Count of Monte Cristo. He's, he's faced with insurmountable obstacles, yet he surmounts them, which encompasses being any student, whether you're a um, young student just graduating high school, going to college, or a commuter student. Or, um, or homeless, or um, a minority, anyone on the face of the planet. That's, they overcome obstacles in this book. <laughs> My head moved a few times in the semester. I was homeless in the last couple few years here, quite often, more than not. <laughs> Living out of my truck and coming to school. One of my favorite spots, if not the most favorite. What I used to do is I used to drive in up underneath and then just pull the pull the gate closed. Now in the winter, no one's going to see it because my, if it snows, my tracks will be covered. You know, and then if there's like one or two other vehicles that have come down, it won't be noticed. I tried to come here as much as I could because it um, afforded the the quiet and place to be able to go over homework and study. Another spot I used to like. I'll show you. This is a little bit further down, though. We got to go to the end of Erie Boulevard, and then and then we'll go down 481. Man, it's a beautiful day today. It's so nice. This is a good spot that I parked at a lot. Depending on how cold the night was. You know? Now I take the other trail right there. We just go down to the middle of the little beach. And I could fill up with water. You know. But I have to run my truck if it's in the winter because it's a colder spot, as you can tell, it's windier and it's colder. So you're gonna run into more money as far as gasoline. So you had to take into advantage, okay, well, if I got the money for gas. Even though this is a great spot and nobody will bug me, well, you know, if I got the money, that's the whole thing. You got to rotate things, and you got to rotate this between this and that other really fine spot. So if I have a couple nights here and I go a couple nights over in the back there behind uh, Heckinger Plaza, what used to be Heckinger Plaza, and I could get away with it for a couple few weeks, maybe in a month. Better than nothing gets me through a month. Yo. This you got to be careful of businesses because they're going to be a little bit funny. There we go. 
This last winter here, into 2010, I was mostly up in the city. This one was back going into 2009, which was a pretty good spot. But see, you gotta be careful because you gotta come late. So somebody is like, I help y'all? You know, I'm homeless, you got a place for me to stay? Yeah, that'll, that'll help, that'll go over really good. You know, sarcasm along with belligerence and compounds itself after a while. <laughs> like more flies with honey. <laughs> it's one spot, but depending on how cold it is. If it's real cold, then it just becomes a storage area for all the camping gear, and then I, I sleep in the cab. You can use the back of the truck, not only as storage, but as an ice box at the same time in the winter. You know, things will get a little frozen, you know, but they'll thaw out. You can still drink it or eat it. You know? So it'll actually last a little while. Which, that's not bad, you know. It's a good spot to use for the bathroom. It's shaded. It's a good spot. You can never give up. Let me say that again. You can never, ever give up. There is, there is no such thing. There is early, there is on time, and there is late. But there is no, I can't. Yeah, Everybody nice. makes mistakes, <laughs> but like I always used to say, I guess on the back on a tractor trailer, there's no rear view mirror. There's two wing mirrors on either side, and you can see down the side, but there's no rear view mirror because there's a trailer there. So that means I can only go forward. Now at those times I have to back up. Yeah, I use my wing mirrors, but mostly I'm driving forward, <laughs> not backward should always try to go forward you know learn from the past and learn from those things but um, don't be hindered by them don't let them be the outcome or decide how you live your future freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose nothing ain't worth nothing but it's free feeling good for season lord when Bobby sang the blues Feeling good was good enough for me